All right, I am going to do uh, problem 23-3, short answer, and we're talking about variances. So essentially what the, or the whole point of a flexible budget is to get your budget in order first and then say, okay, this is what we expect. Now let's take a look at what actually happened. Um, and this is exactly what we're doing in problem three. So this is the flexible budget is what we thought would happen. And this actual is, well, what actually happened. So what I've done is I've put a little spreadsheet together um, and we're going to figure out what the variances were first and then if they were favorable or unfavorable variances. So there was no variance here. So that's, oops, so it's nothing. I clicked on the wrong one. Sorry about that. Um, we thought that our revenue would be 108,000. Our revenue actually ended up being 126,000. So the variance is 18,000. And you know what? That's going to be favorable. That doesn't like that. Um, because we have more revenue than we thought we would. So variable costs, we thought we were going to have 50,300, we actually had 52,300 in um, variable costs. And that is going to be unfavorable because our variable costs were higher than we thought they would be. So when we look at our contribution margin, kind of what it all boils down to, we thought that we would have uh, 57,700, we actually had 73,700. Uh, and again, that is going to be a favorable variance. We had um, a higher contribution than we thought we would. We made more money than we thought. Uh, fixed costs, we thought we were going to have 14900 We actually had $16,100. Uh, that is unfavorable. We had more fixed costs than we thought we would. So when it all comes down to operating income, we thought we would have 42800 We actually had 50600 157,600, excuse me. So that is a favorable variance. So it all boils down to a favorable variance. We had more uh, operating income than we thought we would. So that is the difference between what we thought, what actually happened. Um, variances are just the differences. And then we have to label each one if they are favorable or unfavorable. All right, let's go to number six. So we're calculating material variances and then we're gonna calculate the labor variances. So the thing to remember about labor and materials is there are two reasons why your variances, um, why you're gonna have variances. And with materials, it's because you either used more or less than you thought per unit, or you paid more or less than you thought per unit. Um, and with labor, it's either because you paid them more or less per hour, or they took more time or less time per unit to make whatever it is that they're making. So there are some formulas. Uh, they're pretty straightforward, and they're just something that you're going to have to get used to um, and fill in the gaps for that to find your variances. So uh, again, we um, are making crystal glasses, and the standard, which I've done down here, um, is one pound per glass at a cost of 50 cents per pound. The actual results for one month was 1.2. Uh, per pound at a cost of 30 cents per pound. So we're going to calculate the material cost and then we're going to calculate, um, well, I guess that's just the uh, efficiency cost. So when we are calculating the um, material cost variance, we're going to take the actual cost. So actual, we're going to subtract the standard and this is per unit. And then we're going to multiply that by the total actual quantity that we had. So I'll call that actual quantity. Okay. So our um, actual per unit cost was 30 cents. Our standard was 50 cents. Oops. So we know that this is going to be a um, favorable variance because our cost per unit was a lot less than we thought it would be. 
And so 20 cents less actually. And so I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna multiply it by the actual quantity that we made. Um, 7,800, that's how many pounds we used. And so we have a variance of 1,560 and that's favorable because one, because it's negative. When you do um, actual minus standard and it's negative, it's gonna be favorable but also because we know that um, per pound we pay less than we thought we would. Um, the second part of this is the efficiency variance or how much you used and the formula is the actual quantity minus the standard quantity and then I'm going to multiply that by the standard cost, what we thought our cost would be. Don't use the actual cost because that would kind of muddy the waters as far as we're just trying to pull out the quantity. So standard cost, okay? So in this case, we actually used 7,800 pounds of glass, I guess. Um, we thought we would use 6,500 pounds of glass. So that's a difference of 1,300. We're gonna take that, multiply it by our standard cost, which was 50 cents. So that gives us um, 650 pounds or $650, excuse me, variance, and that's gonna be unfavorable. And favorable. And we know that because one, it's positive. If it's uh, actual minus standard and it's higher, then it's gonna be an unfavorable. But also we used more than we thought we would.